Hello everyone, welcome. So in this video, we will be creating one uh, Python project with GUI. So basically, we will be creating one digital clock uh, with GUI. Uh, so actually, Python has uh, a GUI tool that is uh, TK Inters. Uh, some people pronounce it as Kinter, Tinker, TK Inters. So <laughs> we will not get into this. Uh, uh, we will just pronounce it as a TK Inter and using TK Inter we will be creating one digital clock uh, which will be having a GUI also. So let me create one uh, Python file. So I will name it as digital clock GUI dot py. Okay. So first of all, we will uh, start with uh, importing the libraries. Okay. Uh, so library which will be used here is uh, TK Inter and time library. Obviously, we are uh, going to create a um, digital clock, so time will be required and a GUI application we are creating, so that's why a TK Inter will be required. So from TK Inter import label uh, and uh, we will import TK. Okay. So this uh, library we have imported now. Uh, we will import time okay so time also we have imported now we will define the uh, title and the size of our application uh, and in the code uh, we will set both height and width uh, as a resizable uh, function like if you want to resize it uh, you can resize it also you can maximize it you can minimize it uh, so for that we will see like how we can do that okay so let's start it so app underscore i will give it as app window so app window we will give as uh, tk okay so tk function we are creating this will be having our app window and after that uh, app window title we have to give so app window dot title so title we will give as a digital clock obviously we are creating a digital clock and uh, after that what we have to do that mm, we have to uh, give the geometry of our clock cl clock like what will be its uh, size so app window dot geometry so geometry will be we will be keeping it as uh, you can keep it as your own i'm going to keep it as uh, height in, height into width we have to give i'm going to give uh, height as 420 and uh, width i will give as uh, uh, 150 okay so this is how we uh, define the height and width and after that uh, if you want to keep it is uh, app window resizable or you want to maximize and minimize so for that you have to actually uh, keep the resizable function as true okay so if you want to resize it keep it as one is uh, one and one uh, and if you don't want to keep, keep it as resizable you can give as uh, zero 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 okay so that's fine uh, now what we will do that we will be working on the styling portion like uh, we will be giving the font color a uh, background foreground and border widths oh, okay so that we have to define here first we have to give the text font okay so text uh, font we have to give mm, let me give the text font so I'll, you can use other font also i am going to use font border uh, you can get the font uh, name uh, from the documentation of the TK enter and I'm going to give the size as uh, 70 okay and uh, 20 let's keep it as 68 that's not a problem uh, and after that uh, I will keep the style as bold a font effect I will keep bold so I'm going to keep the font bold and then background color we have to give we have to give the hex code of the color so hex code you can get from the like of your favorite color you can get from the google uh, or you can type some random hex number uh, if you are confident that you know the hex color uh, so i'm going to give um, 750 okay i think it will work let's see what color it gives uh, okay not 577 50 i want foreground color i will give uh, and after that uh, let's give the border width also uh border width so border width i'm going to give as uh, 25 okay so we are done with that, uh, defining our styling portion now we have to combine all the elements to define the level of the uh, clock application okay so we have already imported level so let's keep the level so level we have to give uh, as level equal to uh label label equal to label and inside that we have to give 
uh, the levels so that is app window and after that uh, app window we have given and uh, font uh, font equal to font so font we will give as a uh, text font we have already defined uh, here uh, and after that uh, we have to give the background so for the background bz equal to we will give as uh, background so bz equal to background we have already defined and uh, foreground so fg equal to we have already defined foreground and after that border width so border width we define as uh, bd so bd equal to uh, we will give as border width okay so we are done uh, with the level and now we have to give the grid size okay so for the grid size what we will do that we have to actually give the uh, label dot grid label dot grid and inside that we have to pass the arg argument so uh, for raw zero uh, raw equals to we already have equal to zero and column will be equal to one uh, so column one now we are done with the level definition of our clock application now we have to actually create a function for our digital clock okay so for creating the function uh, uh i will uh, def define one uh, digital clock function and inside that we will write its functionality okay so for defining uh, any function in python we have to write actually def and uh, inside the def i will give the function name the function name is digital clock and we have to take care of the indentation so after the column i will press enter and it will automatically indent it after that uh, we have to keep the time live okay so it should uh, so the live time so time uh, i'll give the time underscore live uh, it will store the live time okay so using the time function time dot star f <coughs> star f time it will give the live time uh, and uh, under that uh, we have to give the format of the time so format of the time we can give as uh, we have to give as m percent of hour and after that colon minute and uh, sorry and after that seconds percent of s so this is the format of time we have given uh, now let's uh, give the level configuration level dot um, level configuration we will give as text equal to text alive text equal to text uh, live why text live is not uh, okay no problem uh, not text live that is time live that, that's why it was not coming time live okay so live time we have defined and after that uh, I'll give label after so label dot uh, after uh, so level after will be i will giving as 200 and uh, it will be digital clock okay so now coming to running our application so we have to run our application and we have to see the output so for that we will be calling our digital of uh, clock and uh, app window in the main loop okay so let's clock the digital clock function uh, let's call the digital clock function we have called it digital clock and uh, app window in the main loop app dot window main loop and let's call it now we have to run this uh, program so let me run it so you can see that it has came in my uh, another screen you can see here so the time right now is you can see here it is uh, giving the live time okay let me close it let me run it again again it has come here on my second screen so this is how you can create 
uh, a GUI application using Python. So you can see here we have given a resizable as one is to one. Okay, well, so this function actually enables it to minimize and maximize. If we will give it as uh, zero, it will disable this function. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next video.